Alrighty, so we have a bonus update on Yukon Striker today. So I'm going to talk about the speakers. The speakers have now become the controversial topic of Yukon Striker. They are what's the hashtag what's in the shed now. Um, and I think I know what they're for. I think it's pretty obvious. And I think after viewing what I saw today, I'm pretty confident in what I'm about to tell you guys that I think they're for. And uh, hopefully uh, you guys agree. Um, but if you disagree or agree, comment down below um, and let me know what you think they're for. So what you're about to see is up close footage of the speakers on Yukon Striker, and you're going to notice a few things about them. Uh, but we'll get to that in just a sec. So what you've noticed with Carowinds and Canada's Wonderland's new additions in 2019 is extensive theming. Not all has been announced for both parks, but you can tell already that both parks are focusing on attention to detail. I would even go as far to include Banshee um, in this topic of discussion, as Banshee is an example of speakers near the top of a coaster used for something other than the lift spiel. If you don't know what a lift spiel is, a lift spiel is that little information um, as you climb the uh, lift structure of a coaster that tells you to keep your hands, feet, and legs inside the train um, and other safety information about a coaster. So what you'll notice is all the speakers on Yukon Striker are pointed outwards. They are attached on poles um, outwards as well. And some are not attached on poles, but on the outer shell of the actual holding brake and pre-drop. So on the actual, so it starts with the <laughs> clamp clamp brake and then the holding brake, uh, the speakers are all outwards and they cannot be put on the inside either as the outer guard rail, so the railings have been installed already and it would be impossible to flip them on the inside. But you can also see they have poles that place them even further out. So that's what's interesting. So let's go to back to Banshee. So I mentioned Banshee earlier and the whole Banshee scream. So anyone who knows Banshee, Banshee is a roller coaster at Kings Island. It's an inverted roller coaster by the same manufacturer. Um, and as you get to the top, it screams. And the scream can be heard from all around. In fact, in our Discord server, someone was at Kings Island last night and they were not even in the queue line and I could hear the Banshee scream through Discord. Um, so this thing can be heard from afar and it looks like whatever they're gonna play at the top of this structure is meant to be heard from afar as well. Um, I'm actually a little intrigued as to why they have so many speakers. Like, is it is it gonna start to play creaking? If you remember my teasers from a month ago or even a month and a half ago, I played some mining, like you're in a mine shaft and you could hear creaking before the mine shaft caved in. Is it gonna play something like that and then an explosion? Um, they clearly want guests down below watching the drop to hear it as well. If you notice the speaker is pointing outwards and kind of downwards towards where the tunnel is located, where I'm assuming guests are, there's gonna be some sort of viewing area that guests can watch. Now. I do think, and I'm going to strongly put my backing behind this theory because I think that's brilliant. It's that extra little attention to detail for the guests watching the coaster as well and the people on it. Imagine being held over the brake as soon as you get onto that turn just past that curve and you hear creaking like you're in a mine shaft and uh, rocks caving in and then you are hung over. Well, you're not really hung over. You're slowly cresting the um, holding brake and you hear like either an eagle scream because it's supposed to be an eagle dropping or you hear the mine shaft caving in and an explosion. Then you drop down into the mine shaft. That would be really unique. And it would also be inclusive to the guests that aren't riding the coaster. So regardless of what it ends up being, I think this is a strong theory to put my backing behind. And I'm willing to um, be a betting man and say that this is exactly what those speakers are for. Now, this is where I ask you guys to comment down below again and tell me what you think the speakers are for and if you've seen this on any other coasters like Banshee and Baron. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, as usual, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. And as always, again, I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. And thanks so much for watching my construction updates on Yukon Striker. Um, and uh, for others who aren't here for the Yukon Striker updates, thanks for watching my conspiracy theories and all other content. There is more coming in November. So stay tuned. Also, for those of you that just like pictures and want to see up, up close HD pictures, head on over to Amusement Insiders on Instagram. And uh, we have lots of HD pictures of Yukon Striker that you can have a look at. 
Anyways, have a good one, guys. Bye.